Hi guys, VST here, Velasquez Tech. Yet another fascinating day in the world of Google Camera Remotes. Namely, this time, Arnova, he did it yet again, released another Arnova build Beta 5 Google Camera 7 version. And I know this sounds a little bit complex, guys, but that is why I want to show you some interesting things so that you have the whole and the full information. And without any further ado, I want to present you all the latest things in this Arnova 7.3 version final. Now, the very big and the very first announcement I want to make because there are a lot of people asking me in the comments. Yes, astrophotography night mode enabled right now and it does work, right? Also, camera IDs are enabled for white tele, tone map change for less harsh shadows, dehaze adjusted for less harsh blacks, the IMX586 i wild balance right now is off. This comes now from the XML creator also by 6 Priest. Sharpness increase, custom denoise values, 25 frames, high quality. But guys, I wanted just to show you, see now on the normal mode, which is the main camera, what works and what doesn't work before asking commands. So HDR Plus definitely on and off this works. HDR Enhance also works. We have the for the 360.9 motion photos here. Some example, Google Photos crashes with some pictures. Sometimes videos are very short. My advice, don't use that. The timer works. Also some very important information. Roll doesn't work on Google Camera 7. Burst or quick video works. Flash works, of course. Face retouching and etc. And guys, also some more important things about slow motion. Slow motion now works. I think also a breakthrough now, not with sound. Okay, we're gonna test this, but sound is not enabled or if you enable it, it will not work in the best way. Those are all the video modes for the Google camera. But again, notice there is no 4K. Okay, and guys, with that set and without further ado, I'm going straight away downloading this camera, okay? And there is something, guys, I want to do differently this time, namely load directly the latest XML I got for this camera. Now, when you open the camera, you have to double tap somewhere on the black area and then choose config is going to appear. Of course, I'm loading now the sixth arm press Arnova latest 7.3 overkill XML. And again, you're going to understand why, because when I load it and press update, Boom, here we have the change lock of the change locks. You know, it's, it's a great one, it's a huge one. So, all right, let's see here. We have Astro, OP night mode enabled, camera ID is enabled, okay, for white style, tone map change. This is pretty much everything that, that I also read in the beginning. But guys, why I think it's important that we understand how to load XML, because XMLs apparently are tricking these important settings for us and enable us to do nice photos. So when I go back here to uh, settings and I go, to mod configs creator, you're even gonna see that some things like the air experimental set ID camera apparently are enabled and some of the IDs apparently are chosen. Here we have ID2, here let's say we have uh, no, ID3. So these things are already pre-done for you guys and you don't have to do it. Also lip parcher, settings for the lip parcher here that are optimized are included into that XML. My advice is to use the XMLs that I provide. They are created by some very nice and fine people. Of course, you are able to play and test it by yourself. But with that said, guys, let's test some of the new features here. Like I said, again, we're gonna be looking for astrophotography. We're gonna be looking for new features. We know now great thing is removed. And we're gonna be looking also for slow motion. So with that said, let's do a slow motion video. But I warn you guys, to get the best result, you need to go into settings and disable sound recording because else slow motion is just crashing or not working so well. In order to test the slow motion, guys, we need to make sure that the sound recording is disabled when you do shoot a video. So it goes from here, disable sound recording. Then we go to more. Here we have slow motion, all right? And then of course here I have a lighter. So I will just put it like this, okay? Start the video, lighter on, lighter off, stop the video. Okay, let's see guys. Now I did not get a notification that something went wrong. So I hope that the video is going to be there and let's see now. All right, there it sits, yeah. It's slow, but it's definitely not so slow. Here there's some other options. You can go one fourth of the speed, you can go one eighth of the speed, okay? So let's 
try to test that one okay same setup start off of here okay now this should be a little bit slower let's see yeah okay you see it's working it's not great but it's working right let's do guys some pictures i'm gonna be testing here the hdr enhanced all right just looking for the quality okay all right not bad i think level of detail it's very good, like I think all these Google camera versions are having so far. Let's try to do a macro close-up. All right, I'm gonna put it like this here. And let's just, okay, no. Let's see, was this too close or not so close? Uh, yeah, you see, now we have here the focus on the Jeep, but I, I just wanted to have the focus there. So let me do another picture with focus here on the front. This one definitely better, we can see. Definitely better here. I wanna do some test comparison between the OnePlus 7 Pro stock camera okay so i open the stock camera right now and i go to hdr i'm gonna go to auto not force it guys and then let's do a picture like this all right i'm just going to hold my phone like that okay i like this particular frame because we have highlights we have very bright spots very dark spots so it's good comparison let's go now turn the arnova camera okay let's make sure that here we use hdr plus and let's aim for the same shot Okay, all right. Okay, let's see what do we have here, guys. Okay, so here we have the shot from Google camera and here we have the shot from the OnePlus 7 stock camera, all right? And all right, I think you can see here, you know, all the details are pretty much well preserved, although, you know, the light is hitting all the fibers and then we have also strong reflection, all right? And here, if we see, you see what I mean? Here it's very bad. <laughs> it is almost really, yeah, you see what I mean, right? Okay, I think here we have a clear advantage of the Google camera, really just processing and overall saturation and etc. Guys, for the sake of the astrophotography test, I have put my OnePlus 7 on a tripod and I have entered my bedroom. I'm gonna use here the door to simulate a dark environment. So you see I've already chosen astrophotography on, right? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is closing the door a little bit so we can just leave enough light to slip in from the door as if it's night, right? Let's try that this is enough. And what I'm gonna be doing it right now is press it and see, okay, see if the astrophotography mode already is engaged. Now we can see that that's pretty much the case. All right, holding still. But right now we have been told this astrophotography has been fixed into this release of Google Camera and I really am very eager to understand what will happen in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, almost 1, 2, oh, Jesus. Photo got saved, I guess. Let's try to see the photo, guys. Jesus, <laughs> it's very nice. I can tell you, I'm really impressed by the quality of the photo, okay? Let's do another one, guys. I'm gonna do another shot. This time, I will let even less light in, okay? So I am closing the door behind my back up to a level where you see on the viewfinder, it's almost nothing there, all right? It's, it's almost, guys, like pitch black. That's my hand in front of it, okay? So, pressing it, let's see what happened. Four minutes, okay, four minutes to go, let's see. another intermediate update and we are almost 75% done from this process okay we are about at the end almost of the process 10 9 8 7 are we going to see yet another astrophotography magic <laughs> all right it finished it finished all right I only get to see the result <laughs> same here let's see you guys here we are back at the recap so we need to see what we have already inside. Showing you, showing you that picture. 
and I can tell you, I am really amazed by the quality, all right? It is absolutely astonishing, right? Because you know in what conditions this photo has been taken, all right? But even see here, even you're able to read some of the text on the toothpaste and the soap. You see, when I zoom it up, it's still readable. So I think astrophotography now works. It's all confirmed. You see this one here? This has been from the screen of my phone, you know, when I was just using the phone to record a video. So absolutely astonishing. And I think check mark astrophotography absolutely works. To so just guys give you a recap, this version of Google Camera 73, Final Beta 5 from Nova, green tint is reduced, astrophotography now confirmed working, slow motion, yeah, not yet there. But at least guys, you know that astro photography right now works. I know this has been really much perceived by you. There has been a big demand for that one, right? So use it there, share your photos below in the comments. They say thanks to Arnova. And guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching my videos. Stay safe, stay at home if you can. And we're gonna see each other very soon. VST over and bye.